Hey everyone, Zero Stress Patreon here, Jeff Sari. And in a previous video, I showed you the STAR model. And briefly, what that means is situations lead to emotional triggers that lead us to take actions from those triggers that are usually unproductive, lead a result, and then become repeatable patterns. So in this video, I want to show you, in this Whiteboard Friday, I want to show you the, the S. I want to break down the S, which are the specific situations. So, you know, you're grooving around in your day, your week, and invariably things happen that uh, will put us into a negative state of mind, a stressful state of mind. And we need to catalog these situations because they're non-ideal. If they were ideal, you wouldn't be triggered by them, right? So I want to help you get out of stress. That's my overarching mission here on Zero Stress Patreon is to de-stress, declutter your life, achieve more balance, achieve more positive uh, register of feelings. And we can only do that by assessing what our triggers are, right? So triggers just don't happen out of nowhere. Most uh, likely they're due to something very specific. So I've written down a few from the work that I do with leaders and teams and individuals. Addressing someone's performance or behavior, that can be tricky, right? That can induce negative feelings of discomfort, anxiety. Managing conflict also can produce uh, anxiety, discomfort. Vague long-term projects, right? Those can induce overwhelm, uh, apathy, you know, all sorts of different things because it's not clear about what they are. Speaking up for yourself or what I call self-advocacy, that can bring up anxiety, nervousness, uh, time management, prioritization, that can be overwhelming. And wanting to say no, what I call a dishonest yes, uh, when you say yes, but you actually wanna say no. So again, it's a, it's a strand of self-advocacy, but it's a, it's a unique and specific thing that I see over and over again. So these are specific situations that happen in life. And so what I'm gonna ask you to do in these next two weeks is to start to catalog, what are these specific non-ideal situations that you're running into, that you're getting yourself into? And next time we'll explore the T, the triggers, how these things have us feeling, right? But let's just take, uh, let's just take one of these Let's look at vague long-term projects. If you find that you're the proud owner of this thing, that you've got some things on your to-do list that keep recurring, and that's one way to spot it, by the way, is to see your to-do list revised over and over again and what you're procrastinating on, right? So these vague projects, these long-term, maybe even strategic projects, uh, waffle and sit on your to-do list over and over and over again but they also need to be done, right? You might have a superior in the organization that uh, is wanting you to, to fulfill these things and they're not getting done. So what you need to do is take a self-assessment of these situations. For instance, this vague project kind of syndrome and look at it, right? So what is going on? What is the situation that is having you feel overwhelmed, anxious, frustrated, angry? Uh, you know, hesitant, fearful, whatever the uh, negative emotion is, it stems from a situation. So that's what I want you to do. I want you to, over the next couple of weeks, catalog, start to kind of write these things down, take a mental note about it. And next time I'll get into the tea, we'll see how these specific situations uh, induce these feelings in us. And then we're going to move on to the other letters over time. And so that you can have a comprehensive approach to turning your emotional iron ore into the gold of change. Okay, so that's it for the Whiteboard Friday. And I hope you have a great weekend and uh, take care.